PL Digital Collections API with the uh, Library Cloud API, but I limited the Library API Cloud to just search on um, the um, VM API for right now, so I can do the side by side comparison. Um, so what you have here is the API that's pulling from the Library Cloud to say my PL Digital Collections, and on the right side will actually link to where this results to digital collections. Um, it gets a little more interesting when you do like uh, like some of the archival collections, like the children papers that we have. Um, so you have like a page on sample which tell them one of the governors from the 19th century. And we've got uh, a pretty big collection of the archival collections um, with the children papers in there, like manuscripts and like that. Um, so just kind of starting with that. So like if I do astrophysics, I get, I'm, so I'm looking at, I'm running a search, let me show you, uh, I'm running a search with facets, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Sure. It's a bookmark that you drag up into your bookmark bar and allows you to check whether a uh, particular book is in your library. And we have kind of a page about it. So it uses our internal systems to figure out whether somebody has a book because we know all of the books that a particular library has. So I just swapped out that logic and I made a version of this for Harvard. So this is Harvard's Check Library button. And so I'm just going to grab Check Library here, drag it up into my, my bookmark bar. And then when I'm on, say, Amazon, I can just say, so this is too big to know. <laughs> Great book. Uh, you just hit check library here. And it says, yes, it's available at the library. I love this app. <laughs> <laughs> and you click through and it goes to the Hollis parameterized, goes to the Hollis page for it. It knows where to look it's, uh, on many pages for the ISB app. Uh, okay, so here is... Here's another good example. So this is The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. And here, it can give you an, out, an awful lot of results. Right? So these are all the results across many Harvard libraries. right? And they all click through. Um, which is something even the OPAC doesn't do. Most OPACs don't have the ability to go between editions. Um, but on this one, it's picking up everything. Then it goes to library thing. Library thing figures out um, what work it is, the Ferber level thing of, of a work. Then it figures out what are the most common ISBNs within <coughs> libraries. Because we have some 500 libraries, we know what ISBNs are common within libraries. It takes 200 of those and it feeds it back into Library Cloud to get uh, ones that might work. So it exists already. I'm just going to leave it up. I actually think it's kind of useful it's for Harvard students. So just finding them. I think that now that we have a working flashlight, I could probably get spotlight working within like half a day or a day or so, maximum. Um, but you start a new game. The new game um, looks for two uh, random <coughs> books, which it then pulls the um, subjects out of. So in the green is the subjects that you start with. At the bottom is where you're trying to go. So you're trying to go. Um, so you can click on any of the subject terms. You're trying, to get, you're trying to get to hitchhiking. So maybe we go to Europe and hope that there's uh, go to methodology. It does not, at this point, know when, it's gonna, when it wins. That is a different issue. It's just, this is, in uh, essence, going to hit the, it's going to search by keyword, actually it's going to search by title. And this?
finding a component and displaying it. This is actually calling the API based on this record ID. Boring, but hopefully practical that we can roll into um, Binary Club will be um, to be able to do field and searches um, so that you can get back just the fields. And right now I'm experimenting with just, I think it might be useful. That would be because all this is to us. Visualization things to people that don't have any program. 